Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. As usual, tonight's nightcap has got a mixture of odds and ends in it. There's a bit of machining work, some lathe work, milling machine work, a little bit of welding. Um, I've been to three car boot sales today and I've picked one or two nice items up. I'll show them. One of the jobs I do on tonight's nightcap is I repair a mountain on one of my tripods because the tripod I use all the time is actually fell to bits. And I had a nice surprise at a car boot sale this afternoon. I bought a real high end, top quality tripod for very little money. We'll show that later on. I have a bit play around with a barbecue, that old fashioned gas gas poker, the fire lighter I bought the other weekend. I hook that to a gas bottle and get that working and we'll eat the barbecue and have a bit. Cook one or two bits and pieces and have a bit of laugh in the garden. Update on Debs. Debs improving all the time. She's still very tired, but she is getting better all the time. She's starting to get excited and look forward to holidays. Um, it's only more than three weeks and she'll be going away. And I'll be having a bit uh, a bit time off work as well. Spend some time in the shop. There's one or two jobs I want done around the house. Uh, I'll get them done. Nice surprise for her coming home. Debs is having some garden work done outside, some building work. And as you can see, my shop's become a, a makeshift tip for cement mixers and bags of cement and sand. Uh, normally I try and keep on top of it and keep it tidy, but it's, it's just got out of hand. I can still work in the shop, but I, I need to get it sorted out. I'm going to do some video on this adjustable. I want to try and get that worm wheel out of there. So I can make a new worm or at least make a new pin to take some of the play up on it. I was just getting my camera ready and then my tripod to say that the basically fall to bits. I've had it for a long time, it's done a lot of work. Uh, so it's yeah, I need a new tripod or I'm gonna start using the big one. I've got a big tripod here that I did use on a big Canon camera. Um, I think I might start using that one again. It's going to quickly use plate. That's actually a plate I made. It had a plastic one. I lost it, so I made an aluminium one. Then I found a plastic one. Basically, that goes into there. There's a little cam that locks into there, and that locks it into place. So you can take your camera in and out quite quickly. I've got no idea where the little bolt is that went through there. It's a quarter width width bolt. Cameras are all quarter or five sixteenths width width for some strange reason. So I need to make a new little bolt for there. It's got a little slot in so you can tighten it in with a penny. I'll get a close up of that and see how it works. So that's that's fastened on your camera with a little bolt from there that we're going to make. Just goes into there and that blocks into place like that. It's quite a nice tripod, it's very substantial. Look. See, I did use it with a, a big full size Canon Pro camera. Now I use it with digital cameras, but the tripod is nice and stable. So we need to make a little a little bolt for through there. So that's that's quarter inch thick there, and that's quarter inch of thread into the camera, so we need to make that thread half an inch long. That's down a quarter. Yeah. 
I'm just going to machine the tape on there for the die to start on. We'll machine it with a file carefully. With a nice quarter of it worth die there, the old one, English one, quarter of it worth 20, 20 by 20 feet to the inch. We'll use the lathe tail stock to keep the die square onto the job. The die holder handle will just rest onto the cross side like that. Put a bit of lube. Yeah, then you just put the threads on by hand. Can't beat these old taps and dies for cutting, they're absolutely brilliant. I got a lot given and I bought quite a few of the car boots here. Right, that's all the way up. Just put a slot near the hacksaw and a small file. I've got a mill machine, so I might as well use it. I've left a little pip on there from where it was parted off. I've left it on purely and simply. Because I can use that to line up the, the middle cut and the centre of the centre of the job. That's a cutter I'm going to use. It's an eighth high speed steel mill and cut. That's a double ended one. It's actually one of the ones that Adam Booth sent us. I've never used them before, so we'll we'll give it a try. It's one thing with small mill and cutters, they're going to be run fast, very fast. The smaller the cutter, the faster you run them, and they haven't got a very long life expectancy. This machine will do 2300, and I'll be running with 2300. Five or six thousand will be better for that. Right, we're all set up, ready to give it a go.
a nice slot in. Go a little bit deeper. Quite nice. Okay, so that simply goes through there. We'll put a little o ring onto the onto the bolt, which will go to that little countersink part, and that stops the bolt from falling out and getting lost. Seeing that, I lost the last one. Right, I'll get the other camera and show you how it fastens onto the camera. Now, the camera fastened onto the tripod. Right, this is my good camera that I, I do use in a workshop. It's the one I use if I'm filming outside, steam rallies or whatever. And that screws into there. Use it, just use a coin normally for to tighten it. There's actually a little a pinhole in the camera. I should be able to have a little pin to locate it. Somebody goes in like that, drops in, and that releases, then that cam locks it in, and that's it. A nice solid base. There's a little locating peg there, so what I'll do, I'll drill that and I'll put the locating peg in in line with that one and that stops it from twisting. I'm quite happy with that. Right, this is the bottom of the camera, that's the, the whole the little quarter ultimate screws into and that's the way a locating pin goes to stop the camera twisting. That hole is just under 6mm, so what I'll do, I'll drill and tap this for a 6mm grub screw and just machine the threads off and that'll do it to locate it. We'll measure the whole centres, pick that centre up and drill and tap that one, 6mm. I make that 13.5mm. Right, that's as near as making no difference in the centre of there. Dead simple, 13 mil. It's actually 13.58. Which is there. Five millimeter drill, a tap and drill for six. It should start already without the centre drill, it's just soft aluminium. Top. Right, 
favourite tap rinse, the one I made at school 40 odd year ago. I've shortened the grub screw down and just filed the, filed the threads off it. And I've simply protrudes through there and hopefully it'll line up with the, the hole in the bottom of the camera. That line up quite nicely. I want to just stop that from twisting. That's it, so it doesn't twist, nice strong wool. 